ESPN presents the 1972 Final Four featuring the North Carolina Tar Heels, the Seminoles of Florida State, the Louisville Cardinals, and the UCLA. Welcome again, I'm Bob Lee, and you couldn't hold a Final Four without the UCLA Bruins. As it turned out your year, you couldn't present the championship trophy without them either. This year, 1972, the Bruins would end up against tall and surprising Florida State in the title game. But here is Dean Smith with another Final Four, and young Denny Crum in his first ever. And by now we know this habit would grow at Louisville. 1972, UCLA on the prowl for a sixth straight NCAA title, and we'll get to it right after this. North Carolina jumps to a 4-0 lead on baskets by Robert McAdoo, number 35. Bobby Jones, number 34, who starts the play with this interception of Reggie Royal's pass. After a number of Tar Heel misses, Jones finds himself with a ball again and puts it in. The Seminoles get on the scoreboard with this 15-foot baseline shot by Ron King, number 33. this point on, it becomes apparent that Florida State is taking control of the play. The usually cool Tar Heels seem to have lost it and start turning the ball over, and the Swift Seminoles take full advantage of the situation. In the first half, North Carolina will give the ball up 14 times. Coach Dean Smith, sensing the problem, tries to calm his team down. Now you got all the tightness out of your system now and relax and play like you can. Come on, now. Like they want to play. Like they can see past the It works. And Carolina, faced by Robert McAdoo's shooting, settles down as both teams begin trading baskets. Turning point comes after a pep talk by Florida State coach Hugh Durham. Durham sends in Otto Petty, number 11, and the smallest player on the court at 5'7 proves a David to the Goliaths of North Carolina, stealing passes, breaking their vain press, and setting up teammates. He even ends up doing a little scoring on his own. With Petty in the lineup, the Seminole guns begin to find the mark. Aced by the shooting of Ron King, 33. Roland Garrett, number 23. And Reggie Royals, number 25. Florida State pulls to an 11-point lead with just over four minutes left in the half. On the sideline, Dean Smith is asking for one thing. The teams play about even for the rest of the half. And a jubilant Florida State team leaves the court at intermission ahead by 13.
second half, things get worse for North Carolina. After six minutes of play, the Seminoles have stretched their lead to 23 points. The score is reflected in the faces of the North Carolina fans. Then, with a humiliating loss staring them in the face, the Tar Heels start to come back. First relying on McAdoo, who fouls out with a little less than 10 minutes remaining. And then on Dennis Wojcik, number 44, who scores 15 of his 20 points in the second half. As North Carolina draws closer, the overflow crowd grows tense, and a worried Hugh Durham begins to contemplate defeat. continue their surge, and their fans begin to hope. With 58 seconds left, North Carolina pulls within seven points, and Dean Smith maps the final strategy. seconds left, they close the margin to three. However, the miracle is not to be, and the game ends with Florida State winning 79 to 75.